I do meet loads of you in the street and at that exhibition of Philippe's mums I met a couple of people on the way in and then a few people on the way out and you always ask when I meet you the same question. It's Sunday in the centre, right in the centre of London, right where I work. BBC is W1A, I'm in W1A, and this is quiet. I mean, this is relatively quiet. I, um, I always go and meet Anna before the show in the Swedish cafe. As she's Swedish, it suits us. And um, it's a lovely little cafe and they do Smorgasborg and lots of herrings and things like that. Anyway, I don't think we're going to be eating that before the show, but it's lovely to meet her just beforehand. So look at these lovely little streets. This is Little Titchfield Street, and the street I'm heading for is Great Titchfield Street. But I love it. I, Sundays and a bank holidays, it's like you own the centre of London. I love your sunnies. Oh, thank you. Are I they new? Wear... No, they're really old actually. They're LF marking. But I've got a sore eye, so I've got no makeup on. Well, you need some MTHK. Well, look what I've got. Yeah. I know. They look, are there MTHK. Are. Exactly. So thank you, Joseph. That will really help. Really, really it help. It is helping. Yes, thank yes. you, Anna. I'm not at all. What are you going to drink? I'd love a fizzy drink. I oh, same here. I'm going to have cold. a fizzy drink. Yeah. Well. You look cold. lovely in summary. I oh. didn't know what to wear. I've, I've, I just don't put makeup on unless I'm doing something important. I just don't wear makeup anymore, apart from lipstick. What have you done to your eyes? Um. How much do I love summer and days like this so I can wear my summer dresses. Oh, I'm so happy when it's weather like this. I've just left a um, myrtle up on the roof, which I can't do for long because it is really hot up there and um, she just lies full out. Also, I've had a bit of a morning because um, I think I told you Myrtle knocked my laptop off the bed and I have an emergency laptop that is also a bit old and um, fragile. Anyway, that the, fr the, the actual screen froze and it's got all of this on, all of my clips on that I sent to Philippe and um, they were all on it and I couldn't get to them and I just messaged Philippe and I said I don't know what to do. All the clips I'm meant to be sending you for this week's vlog are lost on this computer. And he said, I'm so embarrassed. On a text, he texts back and he said, have you tried turning it on and off? I hate playing the blonde card, you know, because I am independent, I live on my own, I like to think I can deal with dilemmas. Anyway, I turned it on and off and here you are and you will see this because it will travel from my screen top to you. Anyway, nothing can put me in a bad mood. The reason I wanted to talk to you is this media, this medium, should I say, has so many great qualities about it. It is also, you know, obviously there's a lot to be said, criticised for uploading your life online but there's some lovely things that come out of it. And I love 
showing you or introducing you to small that will be the postman okay stay here I'll come back hello that was a delivery that's exciting um, I love introducing you to small entrepreneurs who can't they don't want to spend money in advertising um, where they don't know where it's going to go to. They, they, how am I going to put this? So they have a very small budget and they just hope that that budget is going to send the message out to the people that the product suits. Is that, I mean, that's the whole thing about influencing and everything else. Anyway, this is a very long-winded way of saying, do you remember this? This simple little box that I talked about a couple of months ago called Elizabeth 33. It is what loads of people have started using, which is a shampoo bar. Simple. This is all it is. Elizabeth 33 makes one product, the shampoo bar, which <sighs> contains Swedish cloudberry, orange oil, mango it's absolutely beautiful very simple clean sustainable environmentally brilliant and doesn't contain all the rubbish that ruins your hair anyway she sent me her name is Lisa she sent me a bar I opened it on camera and gosh, I opened it on camera and you loved it so I thought I would find out a bit more about Lisa because I love to know, you know, how did she come up with this idea? Is she part of a massively successful business family? No, she's a beautiful Swedish lady, a mum, who lives in West London. And when you see her hair, you'll realize just how brilliant this is also. I mean, look, and mine's bleached, but anyway, um, so I said to her, can I come and just film you in your house? Because I'm so interested in where this idea came from and how you make it. So um, she invited me over and I took my camera. I'm going to show you what happened. She also fed me this delicacy of cloudberry, which if you're Swedish, Anna Webb is half Swedish, you will know all about. And she told me about how she came up with this product. If you already have it, you know how brilliant it is. If you haven't, I'll leave a link below. But just watch this. This was me in her beautiful home, and I felt like I'd met a soulmate. So Lisa, how did it all begin? Well, I, I was always into uh, health, beauty, nutrition, everything like that. And when I studied nutrition, I got even more into it because, you know, it all goes together, what you put on your skin, what's from inside. Uh, so yeah, I, um, and at this point in my life, sort of late 50s, I have to say, <laughs> I, I just felt uh, I need to do something else. Uh, I want to do something fun, some build something, um, and yeah, let's go into the beauty industry that I know absolutely nothing about, but let's learn as I go. And I think um, one of the things that, that um, triggered your interest in this particular product was through your son because your son son was born with a allergy mm. um, allergic to quite a few things wasn't he that you yeah. discovered actually you discovered through hit and miss and so obviously you felt there was a gap in the market because we all know the sulfates of goodness knows what goes into shampoo so obviously that 
was a consideration, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was. Always wanting to have things as clean as possible. And um, I always wanted to bring out one without a fragrance and one with, but um, high minimum orders just it, it just didn't happen in this country. So we start with one with a perfume in, but everything is as clean as can be. It's we worked with a formulator, a green formulator, who, you know, she put me on the right track and we worked together. Um, so the main thing has always been as clean as possible, uh, but it has to be good for hair because there's no way I would put anything in there that is clean, good, sure, but it's, it's harsh on hair. So, yeah. So, um, <laughs> lots of things I want to ask you. First of all, the name, because I was expecting you to be called Elizabeth, but you're called well, Lisa, and Lisa's <laughs> Scandinavian, as you probably guessed. Um, Elizabeth 33. Yeah, so actually, Elizabeth is my name on my passport. <laughs> so this is after you. <laughs> well, I, I absolutely hated the name when I was a kid. I thought it was the most horrendous thing ever. How could you baptize a kid to Elizabeth? Absolutely disgusting. And um, so now, much further on, I love the name and I'm resurrecting Elizabeth and she is going to, yes, grow and, uh, and uh, she's a cool lady now. So. <laughs> and, and why 33? Well, uh, Elizabeth.com was surprise, surprise 2021 taken. So uh, then I thought, so 33 is my um, number in numerology. Oh. So then I thought, okay, I'll put 33 after and that was fine. So um, I could take that. Elizabeth33.com was not taken. And uh, when I see the 33, sometimes it reminds me that I am a strong person. I'm stronger than I think. Um, yeah, so in numerology, it's, it's, um, it's just my my, my um, can I Can I just say, everybody, I've, just, I've only just met Lisa, and I do feel like I know her, um, because this isn't, this is, um, she started this not with a huge amount of money. She worked really hard in her own career, which we won't go into, but not dissimilar to mine. She worked really hard, and when we came in here, there's some boxes containing... Elizabeth 33 and she said my work springboarded this little company at the moment it's a small company this is why I'm so interested in it um, but yes so she hasn't had massive backing have you, you oh, have, no 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 backing. She, no she's had no backing so every single order means something it must be lovely isn't it, it how, is does, how does that work I've often wondered when do you hear how many people have purchased your shampoo bar. How does that work? Oh, it, 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 I get it on my laptop um, and every morning I look and it's like I get so happy and I'm so 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 happy and I, I pack every order by hand no. and I, 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 I quality control everyone and I do a little I polish it a little bit, put it in, and it feels so good to do that and I am so thankful for every every single order. Some ordered one, one person ordered 30 on her second Wow, order. because, that's only because I know, I don't want to do a hard sell, you don't know me, need me to hard sell. The thing is, they are the perfect gift, mm -hmm. and I love the simplicity of the packaging. That's it, that is it, with the soap inside. I also love your website, if you want to know how to use it, I love the way you say, just gently run it a couple of times over your hair yeah. and then it will lather or lather it in your hands and then put it into your hair but it's everything is simple isn't it yeah no yeah i think it's it makes such sense yeah because if it works when i started to look into it i tried a few they they were they, were, they worked but they were not as good as i wanted them to be because i was leaning towards a little bit you know high-end shampoos that is really nicely formulated so I knew there was a gap in the market also to do something where we put everything amazing in there and not scrimp on anything that was really important so this is a overnight oat little snack with cloudberries 
Um, so you can get cloudberries in the Scandinavian shop. Oh, really? Yeah, but never fresh because oh, they don't I... travel. So it has a little bit distinctive taste. Could you hold the camera whilst I yes. have a little... Do you mind if I have oats? Yes, very good. Let, so let me see how I'm going to do it. And I love oats. So I'm going to have some of the oats. And some, gosh, oh my God, I could live off food like this. I love it. Mmm. Mmm. I love the little like, crunch on the seeds. I love that. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. Have you put milk in this? There is yogurt. Yogurt? Are, are you I'm allergic? So, no, to... I'm not allergic to anything. Oh, good. So there you go. Lisa, and Lisa is short for the Elizabeth. Elizabeth 33. One product, one beautiful product, and I'll leave the link below. Good morning everyone. So, there's a fly in here. So annoying. Um, I am off to Somerset House um, for an event put on by Hobbs. Now you know I work with Hobbs and I get to meet many of you actually when I do events with Hobbs and they're going to preview some of their next collection and also we're going to have a lovely lunch. I think it's in the restaurant at Somerset House. I have been there before. It's stunning. But you'll see again, let me see if I can show you better like this, my sleeper ensemble. So as you all know, these are my pyjamas. I have not been using them as pyjamas. This is the trench coat. And I wore this to Alice Hart Davies event, sorry you can, there we are, that's better. Um, I wore this to Alice Hart Davies event and it got so many comments. I almost did it as a bit of a laugh and everyone was going, where did you get that? I love your outfit. Even though I felt guilty wandering around in my pajamas, but I'm now, I wear it all the time. I tell you why, because even though it's sunny today, it's quite chilly and this trench coat, oh, sorry Mert, sorry Mert. This trench coat is perfect on chilly days. I'm moving this around so you can see better. Um, and also I walk everywhere. So I, it's really comfy to walk around. I just walk, so I'm gonna be walking all the way to basically the Aldwych and then the Strand. And I can really comfortably in this. And um, when I get there, I might take the coat off and just be in my pajamas. I mean, there's some, but then what's pajamas? It's just silk trousers and a silk top, basically, and we call them pajamas, but they can be anything. And um, I was doing a shoot with Sheer Lux. I don't think it'll be out by the time you see this. And I was modeling La Double J top and bottom, and it looked like pajamas. It looked like this, um, but it was day wear. So, you know, this probably looks fine. I hope it does. So I'm going to Somerset House in my pyjamas and a trench coat. Um, and I will take you with me. Right, that fly. Where's it come from? Gosh, I don't like using fly repellent. I don't like killing them, but I also don't like living with them.
your name? My name's Eliza. And what's your mum's name? My mum's name is Jan. She's going to be very, very excited. And tell this. everyone where we are. Um, we're in Marlebone, well, Bond Street Station. Um, and yeah, my husband works up the road, so... Oh, I'm does he? So, wow, you've made my day. <laughs> um, I've just come back from an event. So, um... She looks amazing. Oh, That's thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Oh, well, listen, this will go out on Sunday. That's yeah, amazing. Sunday thank at you. 10 o'clock. Thank you. So thank you. Bye. 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 How lovely was that? Oh gosh. Oh, I've just got back from the Hobbs lunch with a goodie bag. And I love seeing people unbox good goodie bags. I'm gonna take my coat off. It was really lovely. Somerset House in the new wing, which is called the Spring Restaurant. Absolutely delicious. And um, yeah, so lovely meeting everyone and looking at their new collection. Right, so, this first of all, they had an illustrator there who did um, a, a sketch of each of us. Look at that, can you see that? That's me in my trench coat and pajamas from Hobbs. How lovely is that? Anyway, I'm going to put that on display up there. So, first of all, beautiful, spring flowers how oh look at the detail on that that is the first peony my mum's peonies aren't even out and there's roses columbines i'm getting to know all these wild flowers um my mum grows a lot of these beautiful what a beautiful and the roses smell so i started this video up on the roof with roses and I think we have that one up on our roof. So I'm gonna put that into my beautiful Conran bars. Obviously I'll put water in, but yes. So thank you, Hobbs, for my beautiful flowers. Now, what else? Um, a day of gratitude. Oh my gosh, so what is that? That is a, I think it's a way of journaling. I love stationery, so that's rather nice. Um, oh my goodness, dark chocolate, cappuccino chocolate. It's as though they know me, but we all got one of these. And then finally, this is Summer Days, and I guess it's a diffuser. I think it's a diffuser. Yes. Oh, wow. This was on each of our seats. And finally, an affirmation deck of cards. So all in all, what with the beautiful wildflowers, the journaling and the affirmation cards, quite spiritual 
goodie bag. I love them. They are a real family, the Hobbs family. So yeah, and I'm very much looking forward to their next collection because as you've noticed, okay, this isn't Hobbs, but I'm wearing a lot of trouser suits and a lot of them are Hobbs this year. And do I venture into the short trousers? If I get the shorts the right length, then probably yes. Anyway, I loved it. I loved my day at Somerset House. Thank you, Hobbs. I'm so sorry, I'm leaving you again. I'm leaving you again, Mert. I know, I know. Oh, golly. I've just been filming with Sherlux, doing um, Come Shopping With Me in Oxford Street, as though that wasn't exhausting enough, but I love it. I love working with them. I'm now going over to Greenwich on the Jubilee line, yes, public transport, to see Philippe, my editor's mother's art exhibition. She's a brilliant artist. She did this. She does this wonderful collage. So yeah, um, I'm going out. Let me show you what I'm wearing. It's a very nice evening. So I'm just wearing my gold skirt, my clergy platforms, and I am taking a blazer and my Bottega and some peonies. Aren't these beautiful? The peony season. So these are for Katerina, Philippe's beautiful mother. She's so beautiful. These are for Philippe's mother, but they died on the tomb. Here these, Philippe's beautiful girlfriend. He's just got the best job in the world, but we won't talk about that. Philippe is behind the camera. God, why can't you do this all the time, Philippe? Make it so much easier. And his mum, Katerina Diaz, has a wonderful exhibition. So follow me. My beautiful spring flowers. I love them. Um, I'm not going into work tonight because um, it's been a bit of a busy old day and um, it's about nine o'clock at night but it's still light. I put my pajamas on. I'm going to do my skincare and have an early night, Mert. Be nice to have an early night. Um, it's crazy over there. The uh, design district in Greenwich is for all of you who don't live in London, the Olympic Park. So it's where the Olympics was and it's like being in Tokyo. It's amazing. And I got there on the Jubilee line, which is the London Underground, really quickly. Anyway, I'm gonna finish the vlog here because I wanted to answer um, a question that so many, I do meet loads of you in the street and at that exhibition of Philippe's mums, I met a couple of people on the way in and then a few people on the way out. And you always ask when I meet you the same question, which is, what's gonna to happen to you at the BBC? And I can only answer, I have no idea. I, I, I seriously have no idea. Do anyone that listens to my radio show. Um, I have worked at the BBC for over 25 years and 
it's my home, I love it. And, you know, I've, I've had the best time and a fantastic audience of people that listen to me. But I'm freelance on a contract. The station is changing. My contract runs out in a couple of months. And after all this time, I have literally no idea what their plan is for me. If indeed there is a plan, I've no idea. And are you all right? The moment I know, I will tell you. But I'm in the dark about this. And it is frustrating. It's really frustrating because you on this channel are my plan B. This is my, this is why I collaborate. This is why I take this very seriously, my YouTube channel, because it is my plan B. I've always been honest with you about this. And um, oh God, I'm grateful to you for following me on YouTube and on Instagram. I, I really am. Um, so that's loyalty. That is loyalty. As far as my other job is concerned, I've no idea, but you will be the first to know. So that's where I'm going to end it. Don't forget, if you want to sample, well not sample, if you would like to try beautiful Lisa's shampoo bar and look, look at the condition of my hair, um, I'll leave the link below. And don't forget, she packs every single one of them and is alerted on her laptop when you purchase one. Um, Dave the Cabbie, oh gosh, Dave the Cabbie is not on this week because um, I, I, I would usually see him tonight um, to film him on my last night of the week, but I'm not going in tonight. He's back from LA, he will be back on the vlog next week. What else have I got to say other than thank you? Thank you for your loyalty. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I will see you the same time next week. Sheer Luck Show is coming out on the 30th, the gold show. I'll give you lots of warning because it's going to be a goodie. Subscribe, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. From Myrtle and myself. You're ready for bed, aren't you, Myrtle? You're tired. Bye. <laughs>